Hello, my name is Grace, and I'm a final year student at UQ majoring in journalism. Hi, my name is Natalie Peluso, and I have just completed my third year of a Bachelor of Psychological Science here at UQ. I'm overwhelmed, overwhelmed by my uni work. How do I dig myself out? So, I feel sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Yeah, so um, if, you're, if you're really overwhelmed by your studies, it's important for you to try to calm yourself down. Because um, it's normal for a student getting stressed from all your uni studies because you're really like, you're here to learn. And sometimes the learning gives us you stress as well. But you can try to approach your learning advisor. And in UQ, they have um, their count the counselor as well, and the counselor can provide you some of your mental support, and the learning advisor can give you some of the guidelines on how you're going doing your studies and how to plan your time, how to do your studies effectively. So it's a good idea to um, reach out to some of the people here at UQ because they have like huge resources. Your students just use it. Yeah, I thoroughly agree actually, and there's um, wonderful courses that UQ Learning offer to help you succeed. I'm going into my honours next year and I've already enrolled in four different courses on how to write a thesis, how to research and store my data, how to uh, effectively time management, um, manage my, my studies. And I know that there are a wealth of resources out there for students and individual um, schools will also run like learning support or undergraduate support for like essay writing or, or um, uh, time management and preparation for uh, assignments. So all of those resources are there. Um, I think at home, again, I go back to what I was saying before um, in terms of looking after your own well-being. Um, it can be really overwhelming. You get to that point after the mid-semester break where everything suddenly becomes due. And at that point, you may have not had much sleep and um, every day just seems even more stressful than the last. And I think that's where the way you, you, you look after yourself, the way you eat, the way you um, socialize, how much sleep you're getting. Um, really try and be mindful. Mindfulness meditation, actually, I use that a lot. It's something that it works for me. Um, getting out and walking around, getting some fresh air, not always being by your desk, standing in front of, sitting in front of the computer. Um, all of those little things that just kind of help to support you physically to get through because that mental overwhelm often comes, I mean, this is one thing I have learned through my psych undergrad, that mental overwhelm often comes because your body, your actual body is exhausted. And you can only give your, your brain takes so much of your energy. If you've got nothing physically, then there's nothing left for you to do with your study in your brain, you're just exhausted. So really look after your well-being. eat well, um, sleep, don't drink too much. Um, and be, try and do as much work as you can before that mid-semester break because after mid-semester break, it always becomes super overwhelming, even when you are prepared. So if you do all the early work first, that sense of overwhelm can be minimized as best you can. And just accept that it will feel overwhelming sometimes just because you're doing a lot. If you just allow it and say, okay, that's all part of the process. In a few weeks, it'll all be over. I just need to focus on what I'm doing now. That overwhelm won't be such a burden. You'll just feel it as if it's something that will pass and it will. 